the colors of summer. Red is for the ladybug crawling on the floor. Generously, I welcome in my door. Green is for the grass on the velvet mold line. Blue is for the sky that comes up at dawn. Pink is for the crisp, cool lemonade. My Algona, Iowa friends, and I have made. The colors of summer will come and go. The seasons will run off like a small galloping doe. spend our money on things we may never use. Why are we so greedy, selfish, self-conscious? Why can we, why can someone say something and are laughed with, but others say that same thing and get laughed at? Why do people fall in love, cheat, and gamble? Why do we hide the truth from ones we love? Why do we make choices we know can kill us? Why do we, why do people say the world is coming to an end? Why do people end their lives at such young ages? Why is life cruel enough to take the loved ones out of our lives, moms, dads, brothers, and sisters? But the biggest question of all, why are all these questions unanswered? about tomorrow and what may be. Life's too short to ponder everything. Life's like a book. You have to turn the page to see. We spend most of our life making mistakes and trying to learn from now until then. Too many of us worry about making up for lost sins. Think about mistakes as well as learn from them. Turn on a light to a world that may seem dark and dim. In life, you have to learn to deal with consequences of our actions and what you've been dealt. You don't have to stop and cry when you think about the pain you felt. I hope in life you open new doors and never turn around to your past. Cherish everything. You never know how long each moment will last. Remember yesterday as if it were today. Remember December as if it were May. Live your life to its fullest and unlock new doors because you never know what the world has in store. Okay, started by two joined hands on an altar of love, has formed into generations of ties of blood, each one bound by love in name, continued on like a chain of fine gold and sparkling jewels, a family heirloom shared by all. It is found in faces of smiling eyes, boyish laughter and gesture in stances in styles of talk, passed from one generation generation to the next. Life's journeys of memories and pictures and stories told links our families joined by two hands long ago. I really like history. It's a funny thing, but I wanted to kind of write about, actually not just Iowa, but I wanted to write about here, about the area we live in. And so I started like 500,000 years ago when there was a glacier that came through here and as the glacier stopped it had all this mud that was pushing in front of it and it made a ridge and when you drive out of Algonia you only have to drive about two miles and you drop down because you're, you're coming off the ridge and so in my poem I talk about the Miranda Ridge and it's right here, it's right here in Algonia it goes a long, long way so you can follow it across and um, actually by St. Benedict there's a road called the Ridge Road, and that didn't even connect for me that that was the Miranda Ridge <laughs> that you're driving on when you drive the Ridge Road. So that's where I started. I started way back, and um, I just packed in a half a million years of Iowa history into 20 lines, so <laughs> that's quite an incredible feat. But I bring you right up to modern day, so I hope you enjoy this, because this is all about right here. And it's called Prairie De Novo. Hunters crouch on the Miranda Ridge, watching the river valley below, gray stones hulking on the dawn's first light, and the whisper begins to grow. Titanka, more numerous on the plains than all the fading stars above, this abundant vision quickly fades like the soft coo of the morning dove. Trappers, fur traders, horses, guns, and locomotives with big smoke stacks Move on to the prairie with early pioneers and begin the unending attacks. The woolly bison of the open plain, their numbers prove hard to tame, yet greed for the hides and the tongue leave the giant carcasses maimed. The tall grass prairie quickly disappears under the plow's sharp blade, and the memory of the gray wolf, elk, and the buffalo slowly begin to fade. Frame houses replace log cabins, Grasslands are fenced for cattle and sheep. 
Trans soil grows corns and beans while the white bones of the buffalo sleep. The winds of time blow across the plain and the young sail away on the breeze. Empty outbuildings sag and collapse. Main Street dies from economic disease. Men talk about replacing the fields of grain with switchgrass for bio plants. They look to the ridge and watch as white sails of windmills begin to dance. Iowa. It's a place the ancient Sioux and Fox once called beautiful land. The prairie will return in time, not by random acts, but by man's own hand. The trumpeter's swan now calls on ponds. New woods hide the bull elk's rack. Under the heartland beats the sound of hoofs, for the prairie is coming back. Oh, oh, oh. 